welcome to you your suga sapsd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the real time support for few days today we are discussing about common division what is the common division and what is the purpose of that if you see one scenario here for example if our customer or nothing but our client our client is having hundreds of division he have nearly more than 100 plus 50 plus 60 plus divisions he have so whenever customer placing the order okay whenever the customer placing the order we need to first of all we need to create the customer master right we need to create the customer master for example customer want the material from division one jet one division customer want the material okay uh, you can see this sample here you can see here for example here uh, we have this many division nuts oil pulse rice okay whenever customer placing the order okay is asking you want nuts okay we want nuts made so we have to create the sale order with nuts division so uh, customers created under the sale order we are creating system allowed no problem next time same customer came is asking oil okay now creating the sale order with oil material sorry oil division system allow you but whenever we enter the customer number system is throwing error customer is not defined to oil division again we have to we have to extend it to oil division okay we have to extend oil division again we have to creating sale order next same customer asking pulse okay again system is throwing error customer is not defined with uh, pulse division again we need to extend to yp same like this like that we have to we have to extend the customer all the divisions okay all the divisions instead of extending all the divisions if you create one common division okay if you create one common division so what i'm doing here for example yn 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 is there right so one common division i created one common division i am going to assign here so here while creating sale order we are not we are not taking any common division while creating sale order we are taking nuts or oil or pulse or rice whatever is that that division only we are taking but customer okay customer when creating customer master if client was asking if client is asking he he is not ready to extend the all divisions okay all division just uh, if he okay with the common division then what will we will create on common division that common division we are going to linking to that common division is going to linking linking to this all divisions okay whenever we link that whenever we done the common division don't need to extend to the customer to all divisions one division of the common division enough okay how it work in a step we will see now hope you are clear on this we will see in practical then you you will get on clarity on this for this one first we have to create on common division what we will do first we have to create on common division go click on spro and the mg screen enterprise structure definition logistic and general here define copy division define copy division so here i am creating on division common division i am going to new entries yh common division now i'm saving this is my common division okay this is my common division now this common division i am linking to i'm linking to sales organization so we have to do the assignment click on assignment click on sales and distribution click on assign division to sales organization go to new entries this is our sales organization this is the division yh now save next we what we have to do we have to do sales area setup sales area okay click on setup sales area go to new entries sales or distribution channel division is yh okay now i am saving okay we will see first we will create on customer we will see we will first of all we will create on customer now i am going to creating on customer xd01 okay this is my this is my uh, account group this is the sales area first time going to create the customer with rice division okay yr is my rice division yr is my rice division one second previously i had done the common division let me remove that 
एस पी आई सी एस पी आर ओ सेल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मास्टर डेटा कॉमन डिविजन आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव सो यर आई एम ओ एच वाई जी ओ एच वाई आई वाई एन वाई ओ वाई पी वाई आर so this is the i am making it as this system okay previously before doing computation it has to be like this okay now we'll create on customer xd01 the t code to create the customer xd01 so this is external number range so i'm maintaining 10 this is my customer so the data i'm going to maintain common division city postal code country time zone and state code okay state code next go to company code reconciliation account next go to sales and sales uh, sales area here the mandate fields see the shipment management plant here billing tab tax classification is mandatory one means tax zero means no tax now i am saving this is our customer right now i am saving this is inter this external customer that is showing number if it is internal customer after save the sale customer system will generate the number external number is before creating customer customer itself we can give the number you can refer to my previous session Uh, custom master creation how to create the customer what the external number is what the internal number is you can get an idea on that okay now we'll now we'll create on sale order with the yr division okay so customer given so we are creating so system is not thrown any error so we create on order the so same customer okay income terms payment terms some mandatory fields is missing so in cut terms payment terms we have to maintain so i am saving now the same customer came again is asking the oil so what do i do so here now division is or sorry why o okay the same customer i given system is throwing error what is this the, it is giving information basically it has to be through the error okay that warning that information message we have to convert to warning message we can take help from the buffer okay they will convert warning to error message usually the standard it is possible item division check division it has to be error now i'm saving okay let me create a order again okay yp the customer is waiting so we actually it has to be error now it is giving warning right so we have to tell to a buffer this is the error message we have to tell to a buffer vp is application One zero one is the message number, so we can take the help from a buffer to convert the warning message to error message. I think uh, in previous session I covered how to convert warning to error. You can refer that one to get the knowledge on this uh, message numbers. Seems to be one session I covered regarding the message numbers, yeah, uh, SAP message numbers. So we can find that. okay to who we have to contact okay some message numbers we directly we can convert warning to error error to warning how we can do that everything i covered in previous session you can refer that so here i am checking either okay o o p o p j b what the error message here y p 101 remember that y p 101 
application VP is there. Application this is not related to application VP. So we're getting error application VP. O V H O V A H uh, this application V4. Okay, but we are getting error in application VP. This is application, this is application VL. So I am going to SE SC ninety-one. SE ninety-one. Lashan SE ninety-one. Here what is the message number? What is the application? First of application VP message number is one zero one, right? Okay, click on J. So this is the error message we are getting, right? this is the error message we are getting active or now I am saving ok so we can check this wherever it is used we will get that every, and the program everything will get this so the error, uh, the error message is used in this here So how to we can check the error message everything I covered in the previous session you can refer that video to get the null adjun SAP error uh, error message numbers how we can convert how we can convert warning to error error to warning how we, everything I covered in the previous session you can refer that see here I is there right what above will they, they will do just they will convert I to error Okay, if they convert i to error here I just they will maintain instead of i they will maintain e once they maintain e what what will what will impact okay whenever we are creating the sale order okay whenever we are creating the sale order if that that customer that customer is not extended to this, this division okay if customer is not extended to this, this division system will throw the error okay instead of getting information system will throw the error the customer is not extended to OIP division okay the customer is not extended to OIP division like this system will throw the error that time what we have to do you can see automatically we are converted okay that time what we have to do again we have to go to customer master xt01 we need to extend it to OIP division okay what is the customer here 10 right we need to extend it to OIP division once you extended OIP division okay once you extended, system allows to you create the sale order with YP division. VA01. So, see now we get it. You didn't get any power, any information also you didn't get because of this customer is extended to YP division. Okay. So, in like that, again, if customer is placing the order for one more, again, if customer placing the order for uh, order for one more uh, one more division like a uh, yn nuts or something so again we need to extend to yn so it will take more time to us to okay it will take more time to us to to extend the uh, each and every division to the customer okay instead of that what we'll do we'll do one common division we can introduce our common division concept okay what the common division will tell okay what we'll do that so if a client is requirement if client asking he is not ready to extend the customer to all divisions okay if you want one common division okay if you want one common division just you will create the customer with the common division whatever the division we are giving in order creation of va zero whatever division we are giving system has to allow system shouldn't throw the any error so in that case we have to define common division common division we have to define that common division we have to assign it y o 10 okay this division we have to say now if you using y h y y h has to come if it is y g y h has to come if it is uh, uh, y a y h has to come so whatever division whatever division you are going to enter in cell order okay system will consider that is y h system will consider that is y h okay system will consider that is y h now i done that y here i remove yh so common division assigned to all divisions my common division assigned to all divisions now i'm saving okay now i'm saving now i'm 
I'm saving. Okay, now what I'm doing here, I'm going to position. Oh, you want 10. YD, we get the error while, while extend over creating Y, we get the error, right? Next, when we get the error again, YN, YR, YP, YO also, right? I'm saving. Okay, now we'll create one customer. Again, we'll create a new customer with YH division. With YH division. If you're trying to create YN as a system through the error because of we already with different common division. We should system first of all, system shouldn't allow to create with any division because of it is a common division. So we have to use common division only. What is our common division here? YH. YH is our common division. So we'll create on customer common division. Postal code, city, country, time zone, and region code. Okay. Company code, this is a sales area. Okay. Your mandate fields I'm going to fill. This is the mandate, this is the mandatory. And this is the mandatory. Now I'm saving. This is my customer. Now I'm saving. Now I'm going to create with sale order YR division. Let's see what will happen. So I'm creating the sale order with YR. Rice. If customer I given this one, system not thrown the any error. Okay. System not thrown the any error because even the customer is not extend to YR. Okay. The customer is not available in YR division, but system not thrown the error because of we done the common division. That common division will link it to okay. That common division will link it to YR. So if you're trying to create this order with YN, usually what we have to do the customer need to extend to YN division, right? So not required because of the common division we created. The common division we created. Okay, the common division we created. That common division we assign to YN division. Okay. So this is the concept of uh, common division. Don't need to create the customer with all divisions. Instead of creating all division, just to we, are, we are creating the customer with the common division. That common division we are linking to all our divisions. So in that case, you can create the sale order with any division. System allow, allows to you create the sale order. Don't need to extend the customer to all divisions. So one division is enough. Okay. This is the common division concept. Hope you are clear on this. If you have any questions, any doubts, feel free to reach out through me. WhatsApp. Okay, if I am available, try definitely I will try to help you. Once again, thank you all for your time watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to get the right time support for a few days.